Good morning, everybody on YouTube and NFL YouTube prognosticators and NFL fans everywhere. This is Andrew Warren. Back once again, I'm going to give you my predictions for the AFC North and the NFC North for the 2016 NFL season. But before I do, I'm going to take my glasses off and my hat. I want to pay my respects to three things. Well, three, two people in a, in a massacre the other night. Pay my respects to the people in Orlando. What happened in the nightclub shooting, so... Hope everyone's all right, you know. And Muhammad Ali and the great one, Gordy Howe. So I want to get my thoughts and prayers out to them, you know, give them my little respect. And see, because they both Ali and Gordy Howe were the um, legends in sports. And and plus, Gordy Howe was part of one of the main reasons why I liked hockey. So <laughs> besides Green Gretzky and and Patrick Raw and. In all the Boston Bruins. But anyway, he was one of the main legends from the game. So, And his son turned out to be a legend player in his own. So, I want to give my thoughts and pay my respects. Muhammad Ali, probably the greatest one of all time. Probably one of the greatest sports stars of all time, I would say. He tragically left us and he was truly word, word man to his words on that. He was a great one. So, And for the thoughts of my massacre, that's another story, you know. Uh, it's tough. Tough to put it in there, so. I want to give my thoughts and prayers out to them, too, so. Alright. Here we go. Oh, by the way, congratulations to the Pittsburgh Penguins winning the Stanley Cup Finals. That was a great series. I thought that San Jose was going to do it in seven. So, hey, they guys pulled it off in um, six games, so. I think the reason we and you do it is because you kept shooting, you kept. You knew what the. Put the uh, press. You knew what to press, and you pressed it, and that's the thing. What happened to to San o to Pittsburgh? San Jose couldn't do nothing, only for the two games, especially Game Three. So, yeah. So that's what I feel about that. But Pittsburgh, they went through hell and back this year. They deserved to win the cup after what they've been through injuries and and all that. And Sidney Crosby saying he couldn't get over the hump, winning going off of the. Passed uh, at least the first round and the second round for the past few years. And I'm uh, finally getting the cup back to Pittsburgh. So congratulations to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Yeah. Now let's see how um, the NHL offseason rolls along. So anyways, that's all for right now. But now I'm going to get to my um, my picks for the uh, my AFC North and my NFC North for the season. Let's see how we uh, roll with there. So, okay, let's go. First off, with the AFC North. First off, Cleveland Browns. Let's get Thorm out the window right now. 1 and 15. That's all I could say about that. And, hold on. Gotta have a little coffee first. <laughs> Anyways, you know, Browns 1 and 15, why not? They, they did the smart move. They got rid of Johnny Menzel. Flat him. My suggestion for them rebuild again. At this point, why not? I don't even know why they're a football team in the first place. Uh, ugh. Why? They're just crap. They're pretty much like the New Orleans Saints in the um, past in the seventy past years and years in the eighties until the uh, Champagne and Drew Brees came along. Then the New England Patriots at that point too. So, anyways, that's how I feel about the about the Cleveland Browns. They're just pathetic. They're pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad. Anyways, um, at this point, they just cut, finally cut Manziel, and they should just start over again. So that's how I feel about them. And try to get a decent owner who can finally organize the, organize the team like Robert Kraft did and say enough is enough. So that's how I feel, how they should do. So, hey, I hope they go that route. But next, uh, the Ravens. I got them at 7-9. and nine. So, hey. At this point, I think the the key for mental for the Ravens they get Joe, um, they get Shrugs back, and I think everything else they got, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I think that's a good thing they got uh, Joe Shrugs back coming in the in the defense. That definitely helps them out, but they need a little help on the offense a little bit. So I think they need um, and Joe Flacco should get some weapons to help them out. I think that's why they're gonna get at least seven wins. But the seven wins is probably gonna be for the defense getting Shrugs back in the lineup. So. I think that's what's going to happen. So I like um, Baltimore going to third place in the division. And Cincinnati, 
Yeah, I got Cincinnati in second place. I got them in ten and six. So, believe it or not, that's what I got. So, I, I still Cincinnati has a little more work to do, but I mean they see they can improve on the season, but the playoffs, forget it. They that doesn't matter. The th- Cincinnati is another team that doesn't matter to me unless they win in the playoffs, but they haven't. So, anyways, and for who I got Pittsburgh winning the the first play, winning the division. I got them in 12 and 4 too, like my New England Patriots are. Question is, who's going to be the number one seed, though? That's my question. It's going to be interesting. I already have the idea for that one, so I'm not telling you yet, and you probably know what it is. But, anyways, I like uh, Pittsburgh going 12 and 4, considering they're trying to get the, and getting the AFC East North back, AFC North back, so I think they have to think for that. But they have a little work on the defense, but they got Big Ben in the lineup, so in, in Big Ben, you trust. So. That's how I feel about Pittsburgh right now. I think they're going to probably get that division right from the bat right there. All right. NFC North. First off, I got... It's going to be a tight division. I'm going to come down to two teams, and I will give it to you now. First off, or the last place, the Lions, 4-12. and Calvin Johnson just recently retired, and... And their offense is going to be a little a little shaky a little bit. But the defense is okay. But, you know, they need more work. So, I think they'll give them four wins. Because of Matthew Stafford. Because they, they have a decent, not not the greatest quarterback in the world, but not the worst either with Matthew Stafford. So, they may have a little bit of hope in that. So, I like the Lions going 4-12 and 12 in, this, in this situation. I like the Bears going 5-11 and 11 because they've, uh, because of, um... Because of Bennett, because Bennett cut, went left and went to the Patriots. I think they should have kept him and got rid of the other tight end to, to make that happen. So, but anyways, but that's how I feel about them. I mean, they have a little shaky on the offense, but they still got a good coach. But they got to take some time. I think they got to get rid of Jay Cutler. I mean, it's time for him to go. I mean, he has nothing to prove in Chicago. I mean, at least cut him, get a quarterback, end of the story. That's how I feel about Chicago and they can be contenders again. And this is for second place, this is gonna be very interesting. It's gonna be a tight one between the Vikings and the Packers. Both teams are really solid on the on the deep on offense and defensively with Teddy Bridgewater and Rodgers. Oh, and the Vikings just re signed um their all time free, yeah, free safety. That helps them out in the defense. So ooh. Vikings gonna be look like they have the Packers look like they have contenders in the division for once. So I don't know. This is gonna be really close to call. So pretty much, it I think it's gonna be so close. I, it's gonna be come by a toss up. But I like Minnesota eleven and five in second place. Yep, you heard me for first eleven and five in the NFC North in second place. It's gonna be really close. So, but I'll tell you this. They still make the playoffs, but they're going to be one of the best teams in, who are not going to get the division this year. All right? That's how I feel about it. But I love it what they're doing. I love it. But they need a little bit more work, but they got to get it done. But they are going to get that done with Bridgewater, though. I think Bridgewater is a talented quarterback. So I like Bridgewater in that in the, in the Vikings in the sec, in that division. And Adrian Peterson, too. So And next, finally, the Green Bay Packers, 13-3. And pretty much getting back to the division, the division from they were trying to get a little revenge. I think this yeah, the Packers are gonna get the division for a little bit of revenge. I think that's what they're, how they're gonna pull that one off. A little revenge on that division. They'll probably get the get that NFC North title. But hey, I think pretty much what they need to do, they're gonna need to work a little more on the offensive side. Mate, of course, they've Aaron Rodgers, they gotta trust him. So, hey, that's how I feel about it, but you know, it is what it is, so all right, that will wrap up my um my North and AFC North and South AFC and uh, sorry, it's morning. So, anyways, uh, that will wrap up my AFC and NFC North divisions. That will include that. I will be back with you soon for my um my AFC and NFC South predictions for the 2016 season, and I'll get back to you on that as soon as I can. Anyways, congratulations to the Pittsburgh Penguins. And my thoughts and prayers out to uh, Muhammad Ali's family, Gordy Howe's family, and um, my, my thoughts and prayers out in Orlando. So, anyways, I'll see you guys all a bit soon, and I will um, hope I see you again soon.